This is tutorial number 108, and it covers inserting components within CATIA v5. To start off, open up a new product file, and what we're going to do is we're going to insert components into this product file. So to start off, I'll show you where we're going to uh, insert the components. You can click Insert Existing Components or Existing Components with Positioning, and you can also find it on the toolbar over here, so Existing Component, Existing Component with Positioning. Now the difference between uh, the two is that you're able to position it when you put it in. If you don't position it, they're all going to be uh, put on at the same point and all your uh, components are going to be kind of squished on top of each other. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to insert a few of the guitar components and I'm just going to show you an example of throwing it in with existing and throwing it in with positioning. So let's throw one in with existing, so click existing component. Now what you're going to have to do is click the product you want to put it into. So you're going to have to click product 2 or whatever your product or assembly is called. Now it's going to prompt you to select uh, the part you want to put in. So let's click the base, click OK, and now it's put in the base. Now let's do another existing uh, component. So let's click insert existing component. And again you have to click on the product and this time let's put in plate, click open. Now the plate, as you can see, is kind of layered on top and squished into the base. So that's one of the problems with uh, doing the uh, existing component just by itself. You're able to throw it in quick, but you don't really have a position to throw it into. So what we're going to do, let's delete this plate. And let's do the same thing, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to insert it with position. So click insert with positioning, click the product, click the plate again, click open, and now you can see, again, it's in the same position, so it's kind of like the problem that we have when we're inserting components, is we're going to have it smushed like that. So what you're able to do, though, is just move it around in here, so you're able to uh, just toss it around, or you can even click on here and just move it around. So once you've done that, just click OK. And now both of them are free to click and access and maneuver. So when inserting components, make sure that you click which product you want to put your components into, so which assembly. And then from that, you have to insert them. So inserting uh, the component, or you may have to insert with positioning, as we had to here, because we need to move it around from the origin, as both of them kind of share the same space in their own uh, component files, they're going to share the same space in the assembly. So you need to move it around before uh, you actually do position it. And that concludes our tutorial on inserting components within CATIA v5.